Welcome back. So this is gonna be like a, I would say a vlog, but we ain't going nowhere. So it's gonna be more of a like a quarantine chat. And ouch. While I'm doing my niece's nails, um, I wonder. I surely can. So this is my niece, Kaya. Excuse me, y'all. I got my Kool Aid. My niece Kaya and she has her own YouTube channel it is Kaya underscore candy girl um, and I will link it I'll give you all a I'll just put her name her YouTube name under the description box or in the description box so you all can go and look at her channel so uh, what we're doing is oh we don't have that light Kaya Oh, I can use mine. Get my light. It's in that nail box right there. So, um, we need the she light has no, no, not this box right there. That's my last box. Um, so she has been wanting to right here get her nails done, and her mom recently bought the model ones, two of the model ones kits. Um, that she really really likes but um, she kind of don't want her using that expensive stuff on her fingernails so we're going to use um, we've got people. the mega grow uh, sorry we've got a mega grow nail treatment um, and then we have the salon perfect plumping gel top coat and then she's got two of her um, china mini china glaze glosses I mean nail polishes so she's got this really light blue one and it is called chill in symphonyville and then she's got like a peachy one that's called delta darling so we're going to use those on her nails um and i have a light a led light or nail lamp light wherever you can use it or call it um called sensational and this is what it looks like it is electric this is what it looks like and this is how it looks like on the inside i don't really like using it because it's, it doesn't the wattage is just too uh it's not strong enough for me so i don't use it um but it'll be strong enough for her nails so we're gonna test it out on her nails so um we're gonna plug it up and we're gonna use it um so the first thing is first we're going to go ahead and um, put some Mega Grow on her nails. So while, while I'm doing this, I am going to be trying to talk. Um, I, you guys can't really see me. Give me that. Like, let's see my mouth. I feel like one of the characters on the... Uh, that's a little... Yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh oh. Now you can see me. So, I'm going to be like giving We're you have to do this talking so and. See okay. So, we're going to be talking while I'm doing this. Just about like how it's been going for us with this quarantine. So. We have definitely been having a hard time, like, you know, trying to get a schedule together because, like, we don't have anything to do. And so we've all been, like, stuck at home. And, like, besides her, my niece, and my nephew's schoolwork, they are pretty much bored the rest of the day because they get up um, between 10.30 and, uh, and 12.00. And they do their work, their schoolwork, and then they go and they have the rest, all of the rest of the day to do whatever they want to do. But it's not really much. So, like, my niece, she will play, you know, she'll be on her tablet sometimes. And my nephew, he will, he'll get on the, he'll get on the Xbox and he'll play Fortnite, um, which he's doing right now. And, um. No one does that every day, 
yeah he, he normally does that every day now it's some days where he won't get on um but for the most part he's uh, he does he does get on and he'll play so i put it on one hand and we're gonna go ahead and get this see if we can get this cured so put your fingers together there we go just like that so anyway yeah so that's how our day is going and that's what we're going to be dealing with um it is it is tough it's very tough trying to figure out what to do stop moving figure out what to do and continuously stay like so we won't be bored like we're, we're continuously bored and it, it's get gotten to the point where we have gotten into the same routine of not doing anything and so it is it is definitely harder um, and then with me I'm either you know helping out with their schoolwork or watching them do things you know like she has her virtual gym practice and stuff like that so it is definitely hard trying to find a balance between all of that I guess you could say all right, so now we're gonna take this out and we're going to see. All right, that, I'm gonna put that finger back in there. That thumb. Um, so let's see, what else can we talk about besides quarantine? Cause I know I, I see a lot of people well, talking about quarantine. Um, I don't wanna talk about uh, quarantine anymore because it's got it's gotten redundant on YouTube and I've gotten to the point where I, I, I don't want to hear it I'm already hearing it you know on the news and uh, outlets like Facebook Instagram stuff like that I don't want to hear it anymore people just talk about it because so, they're going crazy about it right they're going crazy about it so I don't want to talk about quarantine anymore all right now let's try so now I'm gonna take the Okay, so we're gonna take the if I can get it open. Yeah, TT is not strong at all. <laughs> all right, I mean, so we're gonna get. To I'm gonna take her peachy one and we're gonna get this done. So, I have been like coming up, trying to come up with ideas about um, what to add on uh, to my list of products that I sell. And um, I have come up with a many, I, the video, the last video that I did was of um, me explaining how the mini wholesale was going to work and um what it will consist of and i did put in the description box the um i did make sure to put in the description box the list the mini wholesale list and all the packages that i can do or that i will be able to do and so so far um i have gotten good feedback from um facebook because that is where I am most prominent right now. Um, I don't have a website right now. So it is definitely hard. Um, now we're going to go in with the blue. It is definitely hard without having a website. So pretty soon I will be... Um, I was even thinking about having my nephew build a website for me. But then I would know how it would be set up. It would be him. So I don't want to put him through that. So I am going to, it's, it's going to be a minute, but I will definitely get one out to you all. And I will make sure when I do, I'll link the website down below in the description box soon um, so that you all can go and check it out. Um, but I have like on Facebook I've gotten a lot of questions as to like you know what made you 
start this business and you know all this other stuff because a lot of people don't believe that I can do this they haven't said it out loud but I or, and you know they haven't voiced it to me but I can see just in the way that people react to me having my own business and I'm just like you know I've I really always wanted my own business what it necessarily would be I don't know but I just I found it very interesting that people that want you to succeed really don't and I'm just like okay so let me go ahead and cut you off and let me do what I need to do for me because it's for me at the end it's not for you it's not for you to like it's not for you to uh, to to I mean you, you can give your opinions and your suggestions and your advice but at the end of the day I still have to make the decision for my business because this is my brand this is my company this is how I want it but I do tailor it to the needs of my customers and what they like and what they don't like and um, so when I, I had my first sale on the 5th for single de Mayo, I had a single de Mayo sale and I had absolutely no customers. I had a lot of people looking at things. I had a lot of people, um, I had a lot of feedback from actually posting, okay, yeah, I got, you know, I have this sale going on, but no one took the bait. No one inquired about me uh, and, and, and about the, the products that I was selling. No one did anything. Now, I did have a customer um, a few days prior to that to the single to myself and I'm like okay well maybe it's gonna look up well no one took the bait no one even as so much messaged me about it I kept seeing a lot of like every time I would post something I see it seen by like 10 or seen by 20 seen by 30 and stuff like that and I'm just like so everybody's seeing it but they're not really looking they're not really you know saying okay hey maybe I want to buy this or I'm gonna buy that um, and it just it kind of got me to where I'm like okay well maybe I need to come up with a different solution maybe you know maybe I need to figure out something else because this is not working so uh, you okay you okay oh <laughs> my nephew my oldest nephew his birthday is in a few days and this one's birthday is next week yeah. And then mine, it's her birthday. Her birthday's on May 13th. Mine's, or his is on the 16th. Mine's on the 19th. And my mother, God rest her soul, hers was on the 29th. Um, but let me see your finger again. So, okay, so I'll, for the, the orange, the peachy color, I only put one coat because it, it really only needed one coat. And then her, her fingernails are really small. So I doubt it was going to need any more than a coat. Um... But this Ooh, blue is really, 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 really light, so I might end up putting a third coat after this. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna cure it in the under the lamp, and we're gonna see how it looks after that. But looks like gray. Yeah, it does. It looks a little gray, but it's like a really light, pale blue. But yeah, so I, I've had my. Um, my days where, and I, I even told my sister, I was like, I just, I felt very sad after it was over because I got not one sale and I was very like discouraged and I really wanted to quit because I'm like, I've had this business since, since February and I have yet to, like my, my sales have yet to jump and I know it takes a while. I know it takes a while, you know, but I'm like, maybe within a few months, I'll see some changes and I haven't seen any changes. And I guess just, I guess that's just me like really, really wanting to have the, that feeling like of having more than one order, um, during the week, you know, and, um, I haven't, I haven't experienced that yet. So, but I know I got to keep my, my trust in God and keep my faith and, um, and continuously pray, continuously do and um i'll start to, i know i'll start to see a change um at some point so well uh oh so that is not dry it's old this one isn't really dry either so we're gonna i'm gonna redo that one because i messed it up you idiot yep i messed it up i touched it okay 
See, it takes longer for it to dry in the light, but like letting it dry in in air, it's even longer. Yeah, it is a long process trying to dry nails. Nails. But um, so I'm trying to just get my thoughts together, get myself together, and come up with new ideas and new ways to promote the business without having a page just yet or without having a website just yet I will be doing a lot more research today um, and I know somebody might ask me if I have on the same shirt I do I it wasn't dirty it wasn't stink or anything so I'm like I can put it on again it's whatever because um, it ain't dirty or stink um, and I only wore it for like an hour so put it back in it's not done yet so actually I think I wore it less than that so it's it'll be fine but um I, I just got a lot of things that I really would like to do and um I would like to enjoy the fruits of my labor at some point uh because I have been working for a while and working for someone else and honestly speaking I am very tired of working for someone else I'd rather clock in at my own clock than clock in at someone else's maybe that's just me I'm not sure but that's just how I feel. One more time. That's just how I feel. So it, it is what it is. Um, I would like to. I got it. <laughs> She's been trying to figure out my password to my phone for the longest that she just saw yeah. it. It's okay because I'll be changing it. No. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I've been like, my presence on Facebook has been like huge because I've been trying to push it out there and you know keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing just to make sure okay take it out just to make sure that everything is the way that I want it to be it's not 100% like I would like it it's maybe like at a good 65 um which is still pretty good it's still that means it's, it's slowly but surely getting up there um so in total I, I've had about since February I've had literally two orders that's about it um but slow progress is good is progress even if it's um you should have left it alone i told you not to touch it so we're gonna take this real quick so i can get a cotton ball out of here because the little one decided well, it's, to it's not drying okay well use i told you not to touch it and she touched it i well, know she touched it so now, TT has to fix I it. I have to touch everything. TT has to fix it. So we're going to sit y'all down here real quick. And I'm going to fix this. I got some, her mother bought some remover from the beauty supply store. Because they didn't have the good, all they have is like the, the ones that have the, uh, it's not really good nail remover. So. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're just going to take off. We're going to take off what and we put on. this one isn't dry either. Yeah, but you didn't mess that one up. I know. You just messed this one up. So we're going to redo this one. And the... Okay. Yeah, I know. Um, so now that we got that off, we're going to re-put the nail polish on there. Let's close this up. Because it's pure ass time. Okay. Come on. So we're gonna put it back on. Well, actually, we gotta put the nail glue back on first. Cause you wipe that off too. Yep, I wipe that off too. So we're gonna put Practice. the. I'm sorry, guys. We'll put this on here. So my sister was um, practicing on her nails last night when she got her. Uh, well, she's been practicing for the last few days since she got her model ones kit in the mail and she got her light and um her um nail lamp and all of that and all of her products that she was going to be using and she definitely um she definitely was excited so she like practiced on me and she gave me like a nail and this is what it looks like um and again this is a practice so do not come for my sister on this and she only did it on one finger um, just to see how it will look and that's how it looks that's how it turns out and these are my natural nails 
I don't cut I cut my nails down um, when they start breaking I just cut them and I shape them up and um, I put a um, I like to put like a nail grow or not like a nail grow but like a nail strengthener so they won't continuously break every time I do something with it because I know when I wash my hands they get soft when I take a shower they get soft and all that so I just have to keep I gotta keep putting stuff on my nails. I put it in again. That's why it went to for so long. Okay, so now that's not dry. Actually, let me test this one. So the other blue nail is dry. How come? This one. Um, it is dry. So soon I will put. And this one's dry. This one's not dry. That's not dry. <laughs> This is dry, so these, these two aren't dry yet. So we're gonna put them back in there. Well, how are you supposed to cool it off? Whatever I know. But, yep, yeah, so. My nails tonight. We will definitely be keeping you all updated. I'll definitely, I'll be trying to um, upload more videos. I might do another one today um, outside. And uh, I don't know what I'll be talking about, but. It's like we were exercising. Yeah, oh, I wanted to do another video and me of me exercising. Um, because I am well, me and my sister are both doing a uh, we're on a like a weight loss cake and we've been on it for the last few weeks. Um, so we did four weeks of cardio workouts and then we did um so now we're doing four weeks of kickboxing. And um honestly I have seen small, a little small changes like my face is a little bit more slender than it was last month and um, I've also noticed that some of my outfits are a little bit bigger than what they were before so I am I am excited I've not weighed myself yet so I don't know how much I weigh um, and I'm, I'm slowly but surely trying to change my eating habits as well because I have been eating so much but I've only been eating maybe like twice a day um, and I have like one or two snacks in between, but I have literally like my portion size has gone down tremendously with whatever I eat. So that is another thing that I'm excited about, but that'll be in the next video. So my next video will be of me, um, exercising. I do have a workout that I have to do today. Um, so I'll probably get back on and record that for you all so you can see um, just what I do so that this now this workout that I'll be showing you isn't what me and my sister do this is a new workout that I'm doing to add on to what we do um, and hopefully we'll, I'll be able to show you that one as well I don't know if I'll be able to show you the second workout but I can definitely show you the first one um, so I will be on um, I will upload another video today well, hopefully it'll be today. If not, then I'll upload it tomorrow or later on tonight. But it'll definitely be on here for you all to watch. And um, hopefully if you all have some weight loss journeys that you want to share with me, feel free to email me. Um, you can email me at glossbeautyinc at gmail.com. You can send me video and pictures of your weight loss journey and um, and how, you, how, you're, how you've been feeling um, before, during, and after the journey. Um, and if you're still in the journey... You know, tell me how you're feeling while you're there and, and what obstacles you have to face, things like that. So, um, that'll be that. I'm going to go ahead and finish her nails and I will see you all in the next video. Okay? Alright.